was a post of the Christian church. I mean, for all of us. Yeah. Because there are others who don't have money. The rest of them. Exactly. Yeah? exactly, that's why. Um, I don't Let me pray for you. Go and pray for them. I thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Where we are starting a shape of grace, strengthen them in the spirit. Or do it for them. Love to it for to his wife. You can tell push off your spirit. Yeah, bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. You want to fall down, huh? You want to fall down? Yeah. <laughs> <You're too old. laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna fall down. No. Yeah. Like, you, you didn't want to fall down. So I don't know. Do you want to fall? You want me to make you to fall down? No, I didn't come here to fall down. <laughs> but you've been telling your wife you don't want to fall, so. <laughs> you tell your wife you don't want to fall, isn't it? Yeah? She told you told me, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so um, I didn't make it to fall because I gave you one design. Okay. <laughs> God is graceful. Okay. He's God, graceful. God bless you, God bless you. It has happened. Don't make me fall in his hand. It's true. I'm confused. He's shocked. Your husband is shocked. Can you see? Whatever we confess with our mouth. Is what we receive. Yes. Yes. But that does not mean that nothing has happened to you. Let's watch what will happen to you. God bless you. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, please can you tell us your names and where you're from? My name is David Scruby and I'm from Delaware, Ohio. And I'm Lori Scruby. I'm his wife. Wonderful. Please, can you share your experience um, this past weekend when you saw the men of God? So when I saw the apostle, it was a really overwhelming experience. So a lot was said. Um, I'm glad they recorded it so we could hear it again because it was just so powerful, so weighty. Um, um, he spoke things that I've known for a long time but needed confirmation for. Um, when I found out he was coming, I knew that he was there to speak to me. I knew he was coming to speak to me. Um, I mean, after after the experience, I mean, it was just the experience was overwhelming. But after after I left there, I I, I it was so powerful. I, I couldn't speak. It was so strong. Um, uh, I, I I as I'm driving home, I could see demons on both sides of the road as I'm driving, just backing up, um, moving away. Um, I looked around and you could see just the world in bondage, uh, chains on everything, everywhere. Um, it was just, like I said, I couldn't even speak. It was so, so weighty. Um, I got home and I, I had to lay down <laughs> for a little bit. And, um, you know, I was just trying to pray, but it was hard to pray even at the moment. It was so, heavy um uh, it's still it's still hard to fully comprehend i've been in my word just trying to you know i I had visions i've had hundreds and hundreds of visions rolling through my head uh uh powerful visions uh of of speaking and, and you know uh some people listening some not um people angry at me some just floored by 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 god's words uh uh and that's just a little bit of it i don't even know it all yet god's still just running through my head with it running through my spirit with it uh i feel different i don't feel the same Amen. Um, mm-hmm. you know and it's just I, <laughs> it's amazing 
That's what it is. Amen. So witnessing what happened in that room with the apostle and hearing what he had to say about us um, and the anointing on us. He said that we would go all over the world, that we would lay hands on the sick, that we would be casting out demons, that we would be doing God's work wherever God sent us. Um, and as he went to pray over my husband, he said what I already knew in my heart about my husband, that he was set apart and called to rise up against the spirit of Babylon. He said he was called to rise up against the spirit of Babylon. Only two in our nation would be called to rise up against that spirit of Babylon before the Antichrist comes to power. Um, they will do this, and this will eventually bring about the coming of Jesus. So he said those two key things is rising up before, you know, to as God's final you know, call to the church to call to those who who, are, who have ears to hear. Um, God in his mercy is sending my husband and another person to our nation to rise up against that spirit of Babylon. Um, I was very um, just humbled to be in that room and to know that that's my husband. <laughs> that God's calling to do this. And we, uh, we just ask for prayers. Yes. Um, prayers. I, strength. Prayers of strength. Mm. There are no words I could, that can quite cover it. But if you have the ability to see the apostle or the prophet, they are true men of God. And yes, they're, no they are not fake. And only those who are truly called by the Holy Spirit will know that this is true and will know that what they speak comes from God. Those who are not in spirit will not understand why we should go and meet with these men. But those who are in Holy Spirit will be called to these men. I truly believe that. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.